So the Dell XPS 14 is, is awesome in a lot of ways, but I just found out something that really grinds my gears about this laptop that if it were different, we would see a massively higher performing device that would be even more valuable for the consumer. This video is brought to you by Asus ProArt Laptops, the laptops built from the ground up for creators. More information to come later in the video. So let's dive into this. I'm gonna talk about the build quality and usability. I'm gonna talk about the performance and see if this is the right fit for you. And I'm gonna talk about that one thing that man, Dell needs to update if possible. So Dell, if you're listening, definitely check this out. Okay, first and foremost, this is such a unique device, okay? There's nothing like the Dell XPS series. It's not a MacBook Pro competitor. It's not a Razer Blade competitor. It's not a Yoga Pro 9i competitor. It is a laptop in a league of its own. When you look at the design of this laptop, it is completely minimal. You have the haptic buttons on the top for your function buttons. You have the haptic trackpad, which starts here around the Alt key and goes all the way out to the Microsoft key. So it's a really nice large trackpad. And so this device is just wildly unique. You have the integrated speaker placement. You have the keys that are clustered in this really nice, neat, really nice, neat cluster with almost minimal, with minimal spacing between them. It is a device that is like no other, as I continue to say. You have a really nice tall bezel around the screen to protect it from any accidental drops. Integrated bezel into the screen. A very, very small bezel on the bottom, top, and sides. The viewing of this device is beautiful. Now I'm gonna close down the lid and let's take a look at the weight and thickness of this device. Now it's one thing that I always notice about these XPS devices is they are nice and thin. However, they are not necessarily super light, especially for the size of the device because they use a nice sturdy aluminum material. So as you can see, as I set the laptop down, there's very little, almost no press on the top cover of the device. Going to the bottom cover of the device, same thing, almost no press on the bottom cover. And as we look at the assembly of the laptop, it is just beautifully assembled. We have these nice round corners. The bottom cover fits super nicely into the side panels. This actually was my first ever Windows device back in 2017. I bought a Dell XPS 15 and absolutely love it. Uh, even to this day, I would still use that device. However, my needs with 6K video editing had uh, become where that device was no longer powerful enough and I just upgraded um, to a more powerful device as more powerful GPUs and CPUs came out on the market. Nice ventilation here, very subtle uh, for the device. And as we flip it back over and as you can see, opening with one hand, you can just kind of kind of pop it loose and then it opens up pretty easily with one hand. So just get it popped and then it opens up. As you can see, I like how the hinge is actually connected here at these two points and then this bar comes along through it creates for a very sturdy top cover. Uh, however, there is a bit of screen balance on there. So if you're on a train or a plane or maybe in a bus or something, you know, working on the go, it is a bit bouncy. So just keep that in mind. All right, jumping in again, taking a look at the keyboard. It is a quiet keyboard, very nice. You have to get used to the spacing. That is one thing that I'll say. Typing on this keyboard for the first you know, couple of days or even week, you're gonna have to get used to the spacing. I'm sure you're gonna miss a few keys at first, but once you settle into it, the keys are nice and large, even though there's not a lot of spacing between them, which makes it pretty easy to identify each of the keys you're typing on. Now you have large shift keys, you have your smaller up and down arrow keys with your large right and left arrow keys. Space bar sounds a bit different, pretty much classic, uh, but they're all very quiet. And of course, the trackpad is nearly silent, but it has a really nice haptic responsiveness to it. Here's a sample I'm using both the keyboard and trackpad so you can hear for yourself. Now the speakers on this device are good. I was hoping they'd be even better, uh, but they are good. Here's a sample so you can hear for yourself. And of course there is a webcam on the top bezel. Here's a sample of the webcam so you can see and hear for yourself. This is the webcam on the Dell XPS 14 and a little sample of the audio for you as well.
This video is brought to you by the ASUS ProArt PX13, a two-in-one laptop built from the ground up for artists, designers, photographers, and videographers. This laptop provides a two-in-one pen-compatible 3K OLED corning glass display that is durable and color accurate. It weighs three pounds and is just over a half an inch thick. It has all-day battery life for productivity tasks, a durable aluminum chassis that exceeds stringent testing, and let's not forget about the ASUS dial to streamline your workflow, providing access to your most commonly used tools. Equipped with the AMD Ryzen AI9 CPU, 32 gigs of RAM standard on every model, and an RTX 4050, 4060, or 4070, this device provides the necessary performance for even architecture and 3D modeling work. Check out my full review content of the ASUS ProArt PX13 within the playlist linked in the YouTube cards above or the description below. Now, while we're looking into the display, this can reach 398 nits of screen brightness. It is a 3200 by 2000 resolution at 120 hertz, and it can reach 100% sRGB, 92% Adobe RGB, and 99% DCI-P3 at a Delta E of 0.89. Now, if you're curious about the exact price and availability of the Dell XPS 14, you can head down in the description below, click those links. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, one thing I want to address also is the configuration of this specific device. We have the Intel Core Ultra 7 155H, the RTX 4050, and 32 gigs of RAM. Now keep in mind, in regards to the upgrade path, you are unable to upgrade the RAM. It is soldered to the motherboard. However, the boot drive is swappable. So there's one M.2 slot and it is equipped with the boot drive. So if you want to upgrade the laptop, that is the way in which you would upgrade it. You'd swap out the boot drive for a different drive. Now that can become a little complicated. And so I understand that that is a bit of a limitation. However, they have provided us with a micro SD card reader. And so with that in mind, you can expand your storage with this micro SD card port by putting in a 512 or a one terabyte and quickly get more storage into your device. And it's also a little bit more modular and so swapping it out, if you had an extra M.2 slot in here, is easier than replacing that. Now we have the micro SD card, USB-C and headphone jack, as well as two USB-Cs on the other side of the Dell XPS 14. So you will have to use one of the USB-Cs as a charging port. However, they've given us three, which is really nice. Um, so you're not, you still have two available if you're using one to charge your device, which I really appreciated. The Dell XPS 14 does come with a 70 watt hour battery, which does provide you with just under 10 hours of streaming video playback and pass mark productivity, about three hours and 47 minutes of Photoshop battery life, and then two hours and 30 minutes of Premiere Pro video editing playback. So it's good battery life for the device. You can be on the go for productivity and streaming video. And then your creative work, you'll not want to waver away from your charger for too long as it will not last you all day uh, doing creative work. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the performance of this device. As we jump into Photoshop, you can see it scores a 6,679, which is a respectable score. Um, that 32 gigs of RAM is definitely helpful in getting us a little lift inside of Photoshop. I would have expected more out of the 32 gigs of RAM, um, just being honest here, but that is a good score. And so if you're working inside of Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign, even at the same time, that 32 gigs of RAM will give you a really nice ceiling for multitasking. That's really important if you're going to have a laptop with integrated RAM, as in it's soldered to the motherboard, it's not upgradable. You wanna have about 32 because that'll give you a really nice ceiling. Now going ahead and taking a look at Premiere Pro, you can see that we have a four minute and three second export time. That's a 4K export, put a 4K clip into Premiere Pro, export it out at full quality 4K settings. Four minutes is an okay score, okay? This is gonna get us to the point of the video where I'm gonna talk about the big problem I have with this laptop. It has a maximum graphics power of 40 watts. That is the lowest maximum graphics power I have personally seen in a laptop. The Dell XPS 16 has 70 watts. The Inspiron 16 has a 70 watt maximum graphics power. The Lenovo Yoga Pro 9i has a 100 watt maximum graphics power. So maximum graphics power is basically the maximum allowable power to be sent to the GPU. Now the reason to lower your maximum graphics power is to mitigate the amount of heat that the laptop produces and therefore it provides you with less fan noise, less overheating of the laptop. And so by having a lower allowable maximum graphics power, you're able to control the temperature of the laptop. So Dell decided to do a 40 watt maximum graphics power to keep the laptop cool and ultimately quiet and in an efficient laptop, which is more of the point of these Dell XPS devices. They are slim on the go devices for productivity, for some creative work. However, I think 40 watts was a little overkill 
in the diminishing return that you're gonna get out of the RTX 4050 that is within this device. And I really think it limited the overall benefit and opportunity that this device would provide to a creative professional. So again, we're seeing that reflected in the four minute export time out of Premiere Pro for 4K. More than that, the 6K B-RAW export time is 38 minutes and five seconds. It's just, it's just too much. The 4050, you should be able to get in the 20 to 22 minute range. Um, the PX13 from Asus ProArt series has about a 22 minute export time with an RTX 4050. And the maximum graphics power on that device is 95 watts. So more than double. And so it just really is limiting the ability for this laptop to perform at its, at its true potential. Um, and so that just kind of was a disappointment. Looking at the Premiere Pro 4K playback, we have zero drop frames, 6K B-RAW 9,081. The PX13 has a 6K B-RAW playback, I think of around 100 drop frames. So again, almost 10 times more. Um, and then you also have the red footage at 10,000. The ProArt I think has around 1,812, give or take. And so I was just like, man, that maximum graphics power just really limited this device. In regards to these more upper end performance heavy tasks, Photoshop, 4K video editing, 1080p video editing, this laptop will have no issues with that. But if you're gonna be somebody who's getting, who wants to get into say 6K or even have more complicated 4K and you want a decently quick export time, this device with that 40 watts will be a little bit limited. Now, all that to say, I mean, the laptop is absolutely beautiful. The build quality is impeccable. The screen is bright, crisp, color accurate. I love the haptic buttons. I love the keyboard and trackpad. It's a great device. Just a little bit limited in regards to the more intense creator performance needs. If you're an everyday user who wants a premium laptop, streaming video playback, doing business or schoolwork on this device, it's stellar. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase or click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your buying decision. I'll see you in the next one.